Hi everyone, my name is Otis. You welcome to our online business opportunity marketing network, the ultimate path to getting online. So in today's video, we're going to look at uh, the meaning of uh, web hosting and the different type of uh, hosting services that is available on the internet today. So uh, let's get started. So I'm just going to go straight into uh, the web hosting uh, uh, registrar. So uh, for us to see the different type of hosting. Uh, but before I start, I just want to share this with us. Um, hosting, uh, web hosting is a service that allow you to store your website files to, to set up your, uh, your virtual office or what is called a website on the web, on the World Wide Web, so that people can access your information on the internet. So that service that holds your business, your, your website on the web is what we call the web hosting service. So, and I'm going straight here. I'm at domaincode.com. Um, that's what I use to host my, uh, on my website, the great services. They are there, sorry, they offer great service and the 24 hour customer service are awesome. So that's one of those important thing that, uh, one of the important factor if you're if you're looking for a web hosting company, look if they offer 24 hour service, and that's why so you, you don't need to pay uh, someone else to be doing some of those maintenance for you. So let's go. I'm going to look at uh, some of the services available, and I will explain that. So if you look at under the hosting, we have different type of hosting. You have the cPanel hosting, you have the business hosting, you have the VPS, which we call the uh, virtual uh, private server, and you have the WordPress, and you have the dedicated the dedicated server. So um, I'm going to start with the cPanel. Uh, the cPanel is uh, it's one of the most popular one that is uh, uh, referred as the uh, the shared hosting. The reason why it is called shared hosting because uh, uh, once you buy the hosting service, uh, you can share it. You can it can host uh, uh, several websites uh, on, on on that hosting service, uh, but it has its downside. Okay, so um, let's look at it under the the. Uh, the cPanel hosting. So I'm just going to go for us to just to see the cPanel hosting, the different type of the cPanel hosting. So we have uh, the cPanel starter pack, especially for if you're a starter, you don't have much files like bloggers, or you're just setting up uh, um, your service website. So you can start up with the cPanel uh, starter pack, and that that can only host uh, one website. So the difference between this is just it's just like it's just like a piece of real estate or you're looking for accommodation you're looking you have one one room apartment you have two bedroom apartment you have three bedroom apartment four bedroom apartment and and more so what happened is that if you're living in a one bedroom apartment and you have five occupants you are sharing uh, just one resource is just uh, your toilet and bath. You have one toilet and bath that is in that in that one room apartment. So these five people are sharing that apartment, and it got to a point that uh, you overstretch this facility, and at that point in time, it looked like your site is going to crash because it can no longer handle uh, the the request, the performance of that information. So that's just the downsides, but there's nothing, it works well, depending on the size of your business. So you have the cPanel starter and you have the cPanel economy. Um, the difference is that is the number of websites that they can actually hold and the number of size, which uh, is applying. I don't want to go through each of those specific features. So you can log in into domaincode.com to read some of those features. So for a starter, you can start with the $2.49 send uh, per month so you pay monthly or yearly but i prefer paying yearly and in some cases i pay at buck and mass it up for like one year pay for one year so uh that's the difference so um you can host you can see that here you can host one website but when it goes to the uh, cpanet deal dealers so you can help multiple website you can actually host your blog host your main website on on, the, on that side so uh going back to uh, the hosting, uh, that's about the cPanel hosting, which is called the shared hosting. So then, uh, which is one of the most popular uh, hosting service. Then you have the business uh, hosting. So if your business files, if your information, your site is uh, beginning to have more visitors going into millions region and you need to increase the band, you need to increase the limit so that it can actually handle uh, 
enough information so you can go to business the uh, hosting launch and uh, sorry business hosting pack so uh, if your business is beginning to expand so the good thing is that whatever uh, hosting service that you choose you can actually upgrade without that uh, without uh, bringing your site down all you need is just to call the hosting service call the customer service that you want to upgrade your, you want to upgrade your site when you begin to get a mass message that you actually uh, mass out all the resources uh, but um, it doesn't happen um, uh, just only in rare case depending on the kind of site that you are building so and another is the virtual uh, private uh, uh, virtual private server so um this actually gives you the full root access and uh, uh to grow your own business at your own speed uh it is self-managed so at this point in time you must have actually be knowledgeable about uh, how the web hosting services work especially for business if your business is growing so you want to have it in-house and you should have a uh, team that actually manage this uh, hosting for you because uh, the web hosting or the web hosting company do not provide the services for you uh, except uh, if they are going to provide the services for you that will involve uh, extra payment uh, but this actually gives you the privacy that you want it's just like now you've grown and you want to have your own uh, your own duplex so you are in charge of everything uh, in the house so you're not sharing the facility with anyone uh, the landlord is not calling you for a meeting so you decide what to do uh, with your hosting service so you are in charge that's what's called the virtual uh, private server so you can supercharge your website with fast scalable and uh, secure hosting um, so that's it so it is important that we understand the different type of hosting um the the newest of it all is actually the wordpress i love wordpress uh, it's called the content management system so the difference between this and other hosting is that um the the it, it's, it's a kind of a third party so once you buy this hosting service so you manage it from you can manage it from both ends is to use the cpanel server so uh you download so whatever file that you're going to do so this is hosted by wordpress and wordpress is one of the best content management system that you can think of in the world now because over 60 percent of uh, uh, developers are actually using uh, uh, the, the the wordpress uh, content management system so uh, the reason is that it is SEO friendly. SEO is, SE, SEO is the acronym of search engine optimization. That's the, your visibility online because it gives you uh, up to five to uh, seven internal links once you install. Uh, once you install the once you install your WordPress on your on your server or your your control panel, so then you're good to go. So it's uh, it's customizable. You can you can design it the way you want. You can bring in plugins. You can do anything you want. WordPress uh, is, is 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 great. So I've used them for quite a long time. So I can tell you the in and out of WordPress. So um, let's go into the dedicated server. Now uh, you're becoming. Uh, you're now beginning to go the different type of taste that you want. Now um, you're looking to boost the performance of your website with dedicated hosting planner. So and um, it gives you that power and the flexibility that you need. So you can choose a different level of control, self-manage, uh, or, or fully managed by uh, the web hosting company. Uh, but just know that if 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 they are ho if they are managing the site for you if they are managing your hosting for you they charge you extra for that so but if you're starting so i i suggest that you can start with the cpanel because that's the basis of all uh, the hosting service so remember that uh, depending on some of those registries some people call it uh, uh, shared hosting so uh, i believe that uh, um, i've given enough information about uh, what hosting is all about but if you have a question uh if you have a question regarding uh, the hosting service you can just shoot me an email and i'll respond as soon as possible and don't forget to like us on youtube uh, subscribe to our channel and don't also forget to like us on facebook and other social network so i look forward to see you in our next presentation thank you for watching